Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a collage using Picasa. Picasa is a free download from Google. You can get it from the internet and go ahead and download it onto your computer. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up and give it a few minutes, maybe even 10, 15 minutes, to go through all your computer and kind of index all of your picture files. Once you've done that, you'll see over here on the left all of your pictures that it is discovered. And um, then what I'm going to do is show you how to create a collage using some of these pictures. So you can see here I've got several different folders. I can click on them and go to those photos right there. So I want to make a collage out of some of these photos that I took when I was on a recent trip to Costa Rica. So the first thing that you'll want to do is um, you'll want to select some of your photos. So if you click on a photo and then hold down the control key, you can continue selecting a variety of photos that you would like to use in your collage. Okay, so I have several selected. Now, down here at the bottom, I have a collage icon. Now, if you don't see that collage icon there, you can go to Tools, Configure Buttons, and over on the left, look for Collage. Click on it, and then click Add, and it'll appear over here on the right. And now, the button will appear on the bottom. Now, you don't have to use that button there, but it's kind of convenient. If you don't have it there, you can just come up here to Create, Photo or excuse me, picture collage. And it takes your photos and just kind of plops them into um, some kind of random collage. Now you can do a variety of different things with that. You can change the type of collage. Just play around with some of these options here. And mosaic. You can change the grid spacing. So right now it doesn't have any, but notice I can change that around. If I want to swap photos out, like for example, I know this one actually doesn't look that good. I can just take it and drag it out. If I want to swap photos somewhere else, I can take this one and move it here. So you can drag them and drop them to where you might want them to go. Now here's kind of a cool little feature. I'm going to go back to settings and in this eyedropper, and if you click on the on um, this uh, color palette here, and you take your eyedropper over in the photo and you just put it around different objects. So like right now I'm on this blue shirt and notice that the all the borders turned into that blue or here I have it on the table or over here I have it on this shirt here. So it's kind of neat because you can really match the colors and I kind of like that. So once you've got the color you want you just click. Alright now if you want to get more photos let's say that you don't like all you want to add more. You'll notice what it does is, I'm going to click on clips, and I've got these, it took all of the photos that were in that particular folder, and it's got them available to me very quickly to add to this collage. I don't know if you can tell, but all of them are selected right now. So what I want to do is click somewhere so they're not all selected. And then I can add another photo just simply by dragging and dropping it into this. Okay, so I can just take another one and drag it in. And again, I can take things out that I don't want. If I want to get a photo from a different folder, I can come up here to get more. I can scroll down to the folder that I want. Let's say this one. And if I even just click on one, and I go back to collage. It took that photo, see it right here, and I can add it in as well. So you can get more pictures that way. Once you're satisfied with your collage, when you're all done, you just click Create Collage. It says Draft. Wait a second. And now what it did is it created one image out of all of your images that you included in your collage. And you'll want to save that. Click File, Save As. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my desktop. 
I can give it a name of whatever I want that happens to be fine and I'm gonna hit save now if I go to my desktop here it is right here and there is my collage pretty simple a lot of fun you can do some really neat things with it and that is how to use Picasso for creating a collage have fun